years. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robin, how you doing, man? Yeah, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on a small business grant. I'm a small business owner, primary breadwinner for my family, and if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family, so that's awesome. thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, well, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Let's send some good white light up and prayers up to uh, Southern South Carolina, man, because we got some tigers up there in harm's way, and hopefully... Uh, that uh, will brush them and not come in like it came in uh, down to Fort Myers. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master relationship is therefore about action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 284, and NASDAQ is off. Um, 55, S&P's down 27. Gold, gold contract up $1.50, trading out at 16.70 an ounce. We have silver up 32 cents, 19 dollars three cents an ounce. Light sweet crew down a buck 55, 79 dollars 66 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, they continue lower. Price, higher yields. You get the 10 year, trading down 13 ticks, 112 even. The 30 off 26 ticks at 126.09, and we get the 10-year yielding 3.810. And King Dollar, King Dollar uh, down 92 ticks, trading 112, 164. The euro is at 98, the yen's at 144, and the British pound is at 111 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We're going to bring up the futures first because we're breaking the lows, folks. Uh, bottom line, you know, I get these ABC downs. Uh, they're past the lows, that's for sure. So if we look at the future right here, actually, let me show you this future because you got an intraday ABC structure down, too. Let me pull this up. And here you go here. So you can see this last bar here, the, well, 30, the 10, one of the, yeah, 25 minutes ago, we broke the low with volume, you know, so we broke the swing with volume rather. And we actually, we broke the, yeah, bro simultaneously broke the low with volume too. So that one there sets up, let's set one. So if we do that one, let's see, that's 30, approximately 36.59. Yeah, so it's 30 bucks. So that gets you to, 36.13, uh, and we're at 36.24 right now, and we hit 36.16. So this one here uh, is 36, what did I just say? 36.13 is the A to B equals C to D on that. If we go into the NQs, we take a look at the NQs. Uh, intraday also have an ABC structure down. Daily have an ABC structure down. Um, this one here did the same thing, so you broke there. So this one here is a little larger one, actually. Well, I'll stay the most conservative. I'll stay to there. So that's 237. So that's actually 90 points, which you get you, uh, that one's 11,100, actually. 11, no, 11,090. And there's another one, well, if you take it higher, you get 11,033. So it's going to be an interesting close, so no doubt about that. Gold, gold contract out here. Um, I actually I don't care for what just happened in gold out here. And, and now the, the, the equities are performing okay, but you can see what happened with gold out here today. Gold gets to 1684, rejects price, 
has a uh, 166,000 contracts. You're at 1669. So that's telling me it's going to come into its strength again that we had on Wednesday. And I suspect what that's going to be all about is somehow over the weekend, what we're going to see this dollar wants to go to the moon again. Okay. So if we take a look at this dollar, what you're going to see, watch that. I want to pull this back just a little. If you see, we did just on the last run up, we did slightly over a 0 0.382 retracement. Okay. But we're above that now. So that very well could be an ABC structure up. You got to remember inside the dollar that we bring this back. You know, we're in no man's land in the dollar right now. What that, that means is that, you know, you can see there's no more swings here. The next swing is 121, 120.5, And if this is an ABC up, what will happen, I believe it brings it to 117. Let me look at this again. So we got 107. Yeah, it's a, it's a seven point. So that would get you 118,576 if you get an ABC up. So the cool thing here would be, folks, is that if that's what's going on and you're, you know, basically invest and trade in this market, if you get that dollar doing the ABC, get into the, uh, you know, 120 and testing it, your probability gets a lot higher that whatever you'd be looking at at that particular point, um, you could get a rally, you know. But we're a long way off, away from that, man. That's the bottom line. So uh, you got to remember, this is option expiration. So what you are going to get, you're going to start getting heavier volumes coming into the close. You're going to get um, folks, you know, bottom line closing positions. You're going to get market makers closing positions as they're closing all those options. That's what you're going to get, which accelerates the volume in a, in a huge way. Nike. We were talking about Nike last night. Bottom line was an ABC down, and it performed in spades. Um, we take a look at this. You're going to see. And the thing about Nike that I would pay attention to, folks, is this. You know what kind of a company Nike is. They've never had problems. When I say never had problems, I'm talking about accounting or anything else performing, okay? And the bottom line is that Nike, you know, it broke the B point yesterday before it had come out, okay? Bottom line, jump down. Uh, this one here has the 113 we did, what is it, 90, it's 18, which gets you into 80. And what is sticking out like a sore thumb with Nike, though, is it had already broken the highs of the lows of COVID. And that high of the low, that was 94. And now the low 60 is gunning for 60, man. That's how this shakes out. In fact, oh, look at this. This is really dangerous. Now, now it's going to have one second. Hold on. I think it's going to have a monthly ABC down, man. This is sick. Okay, let me get this closer. We take this. I'll put this closer. Oh, no, I want, I want a monthly. Come on. Ten-year monthly. Let me see this thing. Yeah, you got an ABC down. Oh, this is brutal. Yep. And this could be really brutal. So the conservative way would be 139 to 95, so it's 39 A to B. You got, that's the same thing, man. Uh, well, no, it's, that, line, that ends up about 75 or something. We're going to the bottom of this, man. We're going to 60. It's gonna go test that 60. Stay right there, folks, come right back. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, diverse partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down uh, 343. NASDAQ is off uh, 120, uh, 84, rather. SPs are down 35. Let's go take a look at Ma Bell first, okay? Uh, T. So the the low is today fifteen dollars forty cents. The highs uh, for the last twelve months. Highs twenty one. Uh, at this price, they're paying a seven point one percent yield, folks. So pretty intense. Uh, but it's been a pretty intense one way route on the way down for the last three months. Also, this went from twenty one to fifteen. So let's bring this up. Okay, so. Look at this. This is coming there too. No, this is coming to the 08 low, man. This is sick. Okay, so you're breaking, you're breaking the low. You don't have the volume on a monthly. Thank God. Okay, you're coming into, yeah, 1577, man. You're 15. So that's what one billion shares, and we've done just one billion flat. Yeah, one 1.08 billion, and you've done 938 million. Let me bring this back for them. Fifteen. Yeah, you want you want this area to hold the the bottom of the consolidation on this does go back to two thousand two, at fourteen oh seven. But the difference is that you want this to stay inside of the fifteen seventy seven, and you're at fifteen forty three right now. So you you want to bounce back out of that. You want to get in that range because then you get down to the fourteen oh seven be pretty dangerous. The, the, at, at that particular point, I can imagine what the you know yield is. The yield would be quite a bit. Uh, if we go to Disney, we take a look at Disney. Uh, Disney, what we have here. So let's see. The low in Disney for the year is 90. The high is 179. Um, next time they come out with numbers is on November 10th, Marine Corps birthday. And okay, so this is a little bit different. Yeah, this is, okay, so this is coming back and test where it broke out from. And I suspect this will be fine. Well, when I say fine, okay, it's, it's been down from 203 in uh, 2021, makes a low of 90. But that sign of strength there, that was, a good, that was a good start. So you can see the sign of strength, you got up there, got up into the 126, you're backing down with lighter volume. It'll probably back all the way down. The market that we have, um, you know, it, uh, 
most equities, folks, what, what I learned out of the Nike deal more than anything is that if Nike can go to the lows, uh, well, actually, it's not to the lows yet, it's $20 up, but even go to the highs of the lows of March 2020, guess what? Why can't the rest of them? I mean, that's what it really comes down to. Because you look, look at the numbers. This is When you look at the numbers and look at the growth, you know, Nike, I mean, is, is a monster, man. I mean, you go back five years and Nike used to take in $36 billion, now they're taking $49 billion. You know, five years ago they made 237 This year they made, uh, well, last year they made 384 This year it's going to be less. That's a big number, man. And in Nike's case, well, I see what's going on. You, you still got a... You still got a PE that's uh, a little too much. You're still at a 25. And just look at this again. Yeah. So when you're looking at these PEs and where they're at, folks, right, you want to look at their growth aspects. Because the PE is 25, and there's still a three-year growth of 6 and 7%. That's not it, man. You know, we're going we're gonna to be going into, you're going you're gonna to see, I suspect, you know, when, when you get downdrafts, folks, what normally happens is this. You know, we, we went to the peak, and that's when the PEs, you know, get, get out of whack. I believe we went to 19 or 20 on the S&P, okay? Well, that gets down to approximately 14 at lows. That's, that's how that works, okay? So, you know, anything that's above that, um, you know, could get corrected all the way down to that level. And then... That's a normal one. Let's put it that way. Well, I say normal. It's, nothing's normal, okay? They're all a little bit different, but you get the gist of it. Uh, Apple. We'll go take a look at Apple out here. So Apple, bottom line, giving it up. Um, still giving it up. You know, Apple has a high volume low laying out here. Let me pull this up. This is... Yeah, it's, it's last swing low is low. Yeah, uh, last swing low. 129 is high volume swing low. So my take is that we're going there. And let's see, 55, 60. Oh, look at this. Apple actually is going to have, actually, we might get an ABC down on Apple. It might get the volume today. If it's an ABC down, 171, well, it's a 23A to B, which ends up uh, 5, 132. No, 135. And it hit 139 today. Swing point down there is 129. Some of the higher volume equities uh, in this market out here today. And we'll see what kind of volume we get because it is option expiration. You have Carnival. That's getting smoked. That's down a buck uh, 90. Uh, Advanced Micro. That's uh, only down 28 cents. Not bad. Tesla is down 96 cents. That's not bad. Um, you get Norwegian Cruise. That's off 230. Not sure what happened with these cruises. They're selling them though. Um, Facebook is off uh, 45 cents. No, no heavy numbers, man, when you actually look at this. If I go into the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the, the Dow, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Uh, Point-wise here, oh, look at this. There's not, one, there's not one stock that's green in the Dow. Oh, that, that says quite a bit. Nike's taking the Dow south. That's putting minus 75 points. Boeing, 22. Uh, Big Mac, 19. Uh, all the way down to uh, Walgreens Boots. That's uh, putting one-tenth of one percent. Not much, but the bottom line is that uh, all red. Inside the NDX 100, the strength. Pindo Adu up 3.6 percent. Datadog is up 2.2. Uh, Biogen up 2. Taken away from it. Lululemon down 5.8. Sky, uh, Skyworks off uh, 3.8. Um, Monolies uh, down 2.7. And... Comcast off uh, 2.5. So the bottom line is that, you know, you got, you got a lot of selling that's out here. And uh, I suspect, you know, we're going to, let's just line this up. I'm going to see what this looks like on a weekly. So on a weekly, let me put this up. Okay, so we're underneath it now. It's not going to be an ABC down because on a weekly, it, it doesn't have the volume. The volume on the, on the Qs in the weekly is 645 million, and right now you're only at 500. We're not going to get 145 million in there. That being said, this is where the ABC is saying 344, 343. That's not far from where we are, particularly the way that, uh, you know, we came down 
Yeah, we come down 40 points in 10 trading days. So what did I say? 343? Yeah, 343. That's nothing, man. The highs, let me look at this. The highs of the lows. That's what I want to look at. Three thirteen. So the highs of the low are three thirteen inside of the the spy. It's all going to be about can can they hold price? That's the bottom line, folks. Dow down three sixty. Nasdaq off ninety two. S and P's off thirty eight. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials uh, down 300. Nasdaq's off uh, 72. S&P's uh, down 29. And uh, the <laughs> it's... You know, I would say that the bull bear fight is on. Uh, and I guess it is. Uh, to keep it over these lows, but you know, you're talking about a Friday option expiration, and you know, every time that you get a, a pop like this, you know, like the the pop that we got right before I was coming on, you know, and there's plenty of tigers that understand how this works. What that normally is, folks, is that the the movers will pop it, shot it, and that's what that's all about. They're trying to basically get into the market. You know, so we'll see how this shakes out. But if we got to a low there of, uh, oh, that was interesting, 36.13. I think that's exact. That was the ABC down. Yeah. Hey, we'll see how it shakes out, man. It's the bottom line. Gold. Let's go take a look at the gold market here. So we're going to go to the GDX first because the, the GDX bottom line is that, you know, you had Newmont, which was the sour dog for a long period of time. 
Um, now, the GVX is performing better than gold is out here today, which is pretty cool, okay? So what we have, you know, you can see that the volume's dying off, though, but you've, you've made it, you know, inside the range. So the GVX is saying, okay, next stop up here would be the 2571. And let's go to Newmont and Barrick, because Newmont and Barrick, those are the two largest waiting structures inside of there. Newmont's still not doing anything. I mean, this is like a sick dog, man. It's up 27 cents, 42. That's, that's weighing on the GDX in a monster way. And then you go to Barrick. And Barrick, I like this, man. I like this. Look at this. Barrick's got volume today. This is probably here. Yeah, I'm going to pull this up. This, uh, the, when, I, when I see something like this, folks, this tells me this is fidelity. So fidelity, just to give you a history, I was actually looking at the when I started the gold report today. And, you know, the only um, fund that actually owned gold stocks in 2001 uh, was Fidelity. Imagine that. That's, and they owned, at that particular point, they owned uh, Gold Corp. Uh, and so I've watched them really closely. So, okay, so here they are. See them right here, number four. So the last filing is that they sold, now this is for Barrick, because they love Barrick. Man, they've been on Barrick forever. But you can see as a 630, they sold 10 million shares. Well, they still own 3.9% of the, of the company. And what will be happening, now this won't happen today, but I'm going to check on this on Monday, because what ends up happening is that when they come in the market and they go, well, when they come in the market, it's awesome, okay? When they go out of the market, it's a disaster, okay? So we'll see. Let me pull this here and see if anyone else. They were all 630, so no one's been in there buying. Uh, when I say no one's been in there buying, what it means is that no one... What happens with those larger funds, folks, if they, once they're already in it, if they come in it again, right, just like if, if I'm correct in the assessment that, you know, it's one of the, it was Fidelity on one of their funds. When they buy, what, here, let me, I want to show you this again in one second because I want to show you something. Because what they do, they copy each other. Yeah, watch this, PhD. Mm. Their own funds do. Watch this. I'm going to pull this down. Now watch this. Pull that down. Look at this. See this? There's four. One, two, three, four. There's five funds that buy. That's, that's uh, the last one they sold. Strategic advisors. No, they, they got it. They, they got three million shares. That's the, the big one is the uh, Fidelity Management Research. Then you got... FIAM. I'm not sure. But that, that's, that's what you do see. What... What ends up happening is that uh, when you actually watch them come in, if one fund's buying, then the next one's buying. So it's pretty cool watching how this thing shakes out. And the key is that if they are coming in, then what you do is you start going to the other equities and see if they're going to start going into the other equities. I, I blew a PhD. Let's go to Newmont. Because they were never a big dealer in Newmont. They loved Barrick. They, well, they, what they had, they actually loved, um, so they're right there. They're, yeah, they, they like Newmont too, man. Look at so they were a buyer of Newmont in the last quarter. They own 3.38% of Newmont too. It's pretty, that's pretty intense, man. There's no doubt about that. It's, it's huge. But we'll see how the whole thing shakes out. What's going to be intriguing is to see if, in fact, um, the market will start picking up, meaning I'm talking about gold and silver now, that the market would start picking up the aspect that, hey, man, we are in inflation. And, you know, what you have here, you have all the fiat currencies, OK, that, you know, in Europe, they're basically losing confidence. And, you know, one of our tigresses uh, in the den, we're talking about, you know, you lose confidence and, and, and you can get destroyed. There's no doubt about that, man. Um, here, if you want to see, if you, you've heard the, the aspect of uh, over in the UK, that if you didn't hear this yet, so this is what ended up happening. You're looking at it, our 10 year bond, folks, this is what you're looking at. You're looking at uh, the 10 year gilt. And so it's like our 10 year bond. And you can see what happened that it just went from 3.24 up to 4.5%, okay? And that, that happened in three days. So what happened when that happened 
is that the, the Bank of England, so they, they got a new prime mayor. And the new prime mayor basically, you know, are going to cut taxes and all this stuff. So what that does immediately is that now they're going to have a bigger uh, deficit. The bond market acted immediately, okay? Now, what the Bank of England had to do is come in and to their, their quote, was they're going to buy unlimited amounts of the 10-year. Now, the reason they had to do that is that because there would have been banks that went bankrupt, just like Lehman, within a couple days because they were on the wrong side of the trade. And they're not necessarily the wrong side of the trade. That's the way to say it. That's the wrong way to say it. So what happens is this, is that just as bonds in our financial system um, – Trying to explain this as easy as possible. Okay, so here I go. This is how it goes. So when when you have bank capital, what the regulators allow is that they allow you to own U.S. bonds for your capital, and there is not as many contractions uh, restrictions against them because most times bonds move very slowly, so they feel like that's almost cash. Okay. Now, what happens in the UK, the exact same thing happened, but you can see what happened. That wasn't cash, okay, because what happened immediately is that that went up a full percentage point, and they basically lost, you know, probably 25% of their capital. Just like that. So the bank had to come in and just buy, buy, buy. Okay, so now where I'm going with this whole story, it's all about fiat money. It's all about paper, because as soon as the Bank of England had a print all that paper. There's nothing behind it. They had to print that paper, and they're saying to everyone, all those other banks, don't worry about it. I'm buying all of it. I'm buying all of it, so I'll settle down the market. Okay, so that's where this whole thing is, and a lot of it has to do with, you know, our Fed going up on rates, our strong dollar, all of that. It, this is going to be a currency deal, you know. That's, that's, the currencies are what's rocking markets here, and they can rock them a lot further. You know, so, you know, we're just going to hope that someone just doesn't make a huge financial mistake that really turns it into uh, something that we don't want to, you know, something like a hurricane, man. Dow, Dow's down 374, Nasdaq's up 103, S&P's down 39. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien! Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's off uh, 326. You get, excuse me, you get the NASDAQ off 83. S&P's down uh, 33. Let's go over to the Dow and take a look at the Dow because what the Dow's actually been showing is you know, more weakness, a lot more weakness, because the June low in the Dow was uh, 29,653, and uh, bottom line, you're 800 points below that right now. So we bring this up, put this on a monthly. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so we're definitely break, breaking the swing, man. The next swing in the Dow, oh, I, look at this. We dug into it already, man. Yeah, we, this, this Dow is going to 27,102. It's not that far away, man. That's, that's the highs of the lows. Because what we just did, see, 29,565. Let me put this up here, so if you're watching Tiger TV. That brings you in the lower zone. You know, the, the, zone, the zone there, now this is a bizarre zone because of the way the COVID deal, I mean, it's a, it's a big deal. But even if we do it conservatively and we say... You just bring it down maybe here. That's still digging in. That's still like 24,000. Yeah, this is pretty intense, man. Now, let me go to the diamonds. I'm curious about this on the ETF structure. Um, we take this. And we put... Let me bring this closer one second. Hold it. Because we might have an ABC down. No, we don't. Okay, so 79 million. Oh, man, hey, this is good. Now you won't do 3 million. This is, so it's breaking a B point, but it's not going to have the vol on the monthly. The monthly, we got uh, 73 million right now. You're going into 79, but it's wide open, man. 271 is game. Well, 288. So that's not, that's not a long way to go, man. That's, and, and what would that be? Let me look at this for a second. I'm curious. The, okay, so if we look at... Look at that. So, folks, the, and this is... So, yeah, for the bulls, this is... You, 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 you know, we'll, we'll see if this shakes out, but... If that's where we go, which is the highs and the lows of March, and the Dow, that's a 50% retracement. Now, the good news would be that a normal market, and this is what's so cool about really understanding the Fibonacci expansion contraction sequence, a normal market likes to do a 50% retracement. The way it works is that, theory-wise, is that a 0.382 retracement is a very strong retracement. You, you love those, okay? Because the bot, that's saying that the stock's are very strong. A 50% retracement is a normal retracement in a bull market. A 0.618 is not. A 0.618 is saying that's a deep retracement and that the next time up, you will not go break the highs. It doesn't mean that you can't, meaning not just, I'm not talking about the first run. But what happened is that if you're going to break the highs, you need to make the run first, you go sideways, build some calls, and do the next one. Let me look at the S&P for a second, because if that's the same thing, it's like, 
Okay, and we just, we just, what we're trying to do here, more than anything, is, no, not what, what we are trying to do, period, okay, is speculate on the aspect, okay, when you put all this together, like, where are these retracements? Because we already broke the 3A2, and on the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ is fairly good, the NASDAQ, 3502, no, this is the cash S&P, the cash S&P is 3502, and look at this, man, the 618, yeah, the 618 is the high, 30, 31.36. And let me go to the NDX, then I gotta see this. So we take this, we put this, we do the same exercise. That's interesting, that's gonna be, yeah, look at that. <laughs> the NASDAQ, man is a 0.76, 76.4. 6.18, yeah, that would be pretty intense. There's no doubt. And, but you, you know what happens, folks, is that what does happen is that the, the NASDAQ um, has the ability to always go much higher on the way up and always much lower on the way down. You know, I, I remember this so well, and I'm going back to like, uh, I don't know, I bet it was 95, 96, 97. And what it was is that they, they were analysts that were on, you know, saying that, okay, the tech stocks can only go so far. And, you know, I remember that like, okay, you know, maybe they're right. I don't, I don't really, I wasn't, you know, certainly as versed as that, that, that I am now. Um, and then, you know, I watched the tech stocks just continue to go, go, go. Well, the exact same thing happened in like 2002, 2003 when they stopped moving again. No, no, they can't do it. You know, it's amazing to me that I guess what people should understand, uh, you know, it, it, they should be really teaching in school that the word technology really means that you're just doing things in a better way, you know? I mean, technology was the buggy and the hoss, right? Technology, and of course you get the first car. But I, my understanding of it absolutely got much clearer, because when I hear that, you know, technology, you know, is gonna have its day, like you got people actually saying that now, that okay, you know, the big tech, they have their day. That ain't even close, folks, okay? That would mean that we're going to go backwards versus going forwards. You know, what happens is that each day when, you know, these folks get up, meaning all of us, they have ideas, and those ideas go into making our life easier. Some of it can still social media, but the bottom line is that, you know, that, that is normally what happens. So technology, to me, is what drives everything, and I don't expect that that's going to change, you know. So when you hear that, oh, you know, the big caps, you know, that they had their day, you know, hey, listen, granted, there's going to be companies that go out of business and can't do what they're doing. And the only reason for that is that what ends up happening is that you have other companies that come in and have a better idea, you know. I, if we go to Meta, if we go to Facebook, I mean, that's, that's going to be the perfect thing, you know. When they first came out, they didn't have any competition. It looked like you could own that stock forever. Well, guess what? Look at this stock. I mean, this stock is toast, man. You know, to me, this stock, well, actually, here, here you go. You have the low, the low, here, check this out, man. This is so cool. I, the low of the COVID low is $137.10. Well, guess what? It's below the low, and you just might have another ABC down. 630. Look at this. This depends. It's really close for another ABC down. So to me, yeah, I think this Facebook like is going to go to sixty-three dollars. Check that out. Sixty-three bucks, man. Yeah, that is about as intense as you can get. You know. But guess what? There are so many different, um, you know, social media things now. Dow's down four twenty-eight. Nasdaq is up uh, one twenty-four. S and P's down forty-two. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down uh, 423. There we go. Let's see. Dow's down 428, NASDAQ is off 126, S&Ps are off uh, 44. Uh, that's a uh, downdraft on NASDAQ of 1%, uh, S&Ps 9 tenths of 1%, and the Dow Industrials 1.4. And if we go over to the NASDAQ, folks, uh, bottom line, you know, we started that program out with, uh, we had an intraday ABC down to uh, 11,033. We've made 11,056 right now. Now, that's just an intraday ABC down. you got to remember that the, the larger one, uh, bottom line gives you uh, inside the queues. So if we go back to the queues, the queues, uh, 259. 259.32 to be exact. And right now you're 267.85. Uh, bottom line, if you want to understand those ABCs, folks, um, just go to Amazon. The art of time in the trade, it's, you know, it's all in there. And we've been in an ABC market since the highs. And, you know, we'll see how the, the rest of this shakes out. But, um, yeah, this is going to be uh, some trouble for sure, because what you have is that uh, you close under them, you know, you close under these lows. It's like, OK, we had a shot at it. Now, the bottom line is that we're not going to be that far into them on Monday. Well, the S&P is going to be 362, you're 357. The Dow is actually the canary in the coal mine right now because the Dow, um, watch this. If you put the Dow up, I mean, we're way under those lows. Yeah, look at that, man. That's that's like that. Oh man, that's yeah. So the low in the Dow was twenty nine thousand six fifty three. Well, we're 
900 points above, uh, below it. Next stop on the Dow is right down there at 26,143. So, so, sad but true. I mean, this is a tough market. We're, we're, we're in a market, that's what you really gotta wrap your head around, folks. We're in a market with raising interest rates that are gonna go through the roof, okay? So, we've talked about it many times. Your signature is what's worth it. Everyone's signature's worth less. Bottom line, they're gonna squeeze this thing until inflation stops. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning, 9 o'clock. Kicked us off. Great show, folks. Meow! We'll get him, folks. <laughs>